Hey ho everybody, welcome to my first video on my channel. Um, the purpose of these videos are going to be to help everyone with their journaling. And the inspiration for this was watching several lectures and actually following through on doing a journaling exercise, which I'm still in the process of doing. Um, and I figured there's a lot of people out there who, like me, have trouble journaling, and I really am into the way this journaling practice works. So I thought I'd help others out by doing a daily journaling video in honor of the ones who have inspired me to do this. Um, primarily Colette Baron reed and Deborah Silverman are my two biggest inspirations for this journaling practice. Primarily Colette Baron reed I don't use any of their decks. I found decks that are suitable for me and I will be using those two decks in our journaling practice. So, as I said, today is March 1st, the first video of the series, and hopefully this will grow. So, I've already picked the cards earlier, and my two guys are... decks, pardon me, are the Celtic Goddess by Gillian Kemp and Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. So for the card today, it is, and pardon if I do not pronounce this right, card number nine, Clondra, Goddess of Beauty. Now what you need to do is just look at the card and for the next five minutes, and I am setting my timer, you are to journal about this image and what it means to you. Ready? Go! Don't think about what you're writing. Just write without editing your words. If you only write one sentence about what you feel when you see this card, that's fine.
Okay. Now, on to the next card. Now, sometimes the cards coincide. Sometimes they don't. But they're meant to look, to force us to look inside ourselves and get to know ourselves better. And you'd be surprised that sometimes they do connect in a surprising way. So the next card is from Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. And it's the Page of Wands and the meaning of the card is creativity. So here's the card. And I want you to write whatever comes to mind when you see this card. Don't edit your thoughts, even if it's only one word or one sentence. Just write what comes to mind. And I'm going to give you five minutes, starting now.
pardon any background noises you may be picking up. This house is not very soundproof. Okay, now I would like to read to you the meanings of each card from the guidebooks. Maybe you'll get some inspiration for other things you need to write in your journal. We're going to start with the Oracle card from the Celtic Goddess deck. Could no, goddess of beauty. And the guidebook says that her key words are serenity, triumph, sixth sense. Cleodona is symbolic of the Celtic afterlife and water magic. You're in for a beautiful time beyond your expectations and heavenly situations are possible. Claudona's beauty is radiating from within and you're getting better at loving yourself and staying positive. Your self-belief is making you stronger and your sense of humor is attracting other people. Your confidence is growing and shows in your appearance. Without having to seek it out, you're finding beauty and happiness within. No matter what the situation, there can be a beautiful outcome, even after disaster. With misfortune encouraging you to put a plan into action, you are assured of more success and a higher state of spiritual development and esoteric knowledge. Your faith and hope assist higher forces who interwine circumstances into your life to put you in sync with the cosmos and people. You'll always be safe when you believe in yourself and have faith in the high, higher forces guiding you. Anyone trying to deflect you from your goal will be proved wrong. Clodona drowned in the sea when she left the land of promise to be with her human lover, Kaibon. The message of this story is to let you pardon, to let your head rule your heart. Think carefully before you follow a partner's plan or another's schemes. Clodona's spirit lives in the rocks where she floundered, meaning there is a danger of hitting rock bottom if your decisions are not self-governed and your motivation as steady as a rock. Clodona's three colorful birds represent air, faith, and contemplation. They eat apples from a heavenly tree, meaning you should value what you have and not allow it and not throw it away for someone worthless. Clodona's tree connects heaven to the earth since the branches are in the sky and the rocks in the earth. 
This means you'd be foolish not to depend on a reciprocal union. If money is not plentiful, this is a sign you're working to the treetop and will climb out of debt. You'll meet someone who already regards you as important. You'll leave people who could spoil a careful plan. Expect emotional good fortune from people in high places who will help you attain your dreams. You are beautiful because you, your soul, beautiful soul. A kind personality is lovelier than an attractive feature. You will see the beauty of nature reinforce your body and soul. You will appreciate the spirit contact you receive. Clodona may inspire spirit messages, which will take the form of a flow of ideas when you're handling water at home or near water in nature. Cladona's message is avoid damaging thoughts and be ruled by positive ones. Re-examine your priorities. The day will be less overwhelming if you ask the powers above to help you. To maintain harmony, give compliments and encouragement value people the way they are. Now I do apologize this is my first video so it's and I'm not used to reading and speaking out loud. Hopefully you found something in there you need to write about about yourself in your journal and I said that's the guidebook for the Oracle card. Now for the tarot card it's not as lengthy, but here's the guidebook and page of wand, wands, meaning creativity. This page is charming and chatty and he brings great news about creative people, pardon, projects, travel plans, and new work. In relationships, he or she reveals a fun flirtation. An additional meaning of the card is the influence of a creative person, a writer, actor, artist, dancer, or musician, or that you are discovering your creative potential. The advice is, now is the time to express yourself in words, pictures, dance, music, or through any other creative pursuit you enjoy. The key words for the Page of Wand are messages, travel news, communication, new work, expression, transition, entertainment. Now hopefully this will help you also in your journaling practice. Um, please like, subscribe, share. I will do my best to keep up with comments. Let me know if five minutes is too long in between cards for you, and I will try and ha find a happy medium for everybody. Yes, there's a lot of falterings in this video, as I am not going to be editing anything. All my videos are going to be raw. I am not a very high-tech person. So, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Again, today is March 1st, 2023. Have a good rest of your day or evening. See you next time. Bye.